All right, everybody, what is up? Thanks for stopping by to another Moto John video today. As you can see, we are on the Harley website right now, and I wanna talk a little bit about an opportunity that I thought Harley had to finally get something right, and what is going on with the 2021 model year. So let's hit the intro, let's get to it. All right, so like I said, I wanted to talk a little bit about an event that I thought that Harley was finally gonna do the right thing, get something right, get people excited, get people motivated kind of for this new 2021 model year release. And that was the virtual event here, the release of all the bikes that you can see advertised on the website. I'm sure everybody already knows about it by now. They're getting ready to do the 2021 model year launch event coming up on January 19th. Everybody can sign up on the website, all that good stuff. I thought that was really cool that they were going to do that, bring everybody together in one big you know, global event, release all the bikes January 19th. People sign up, get excited and all that good stuff. I was like, wow, this is a big step for Harley. This is something new that they could do to get people ready to go, people excited, motivated for these 2021s. And then, as we have seen in the past couple weeks, all of these bikes start rolling out ahead of the event. <laughs> so, I mean, I thought it would be a lot cooler if they released everything, you know, all at once, the new, even if it's just new paint colors, paint schemes, all that stuff. I thought it would be cooler if they released it all just right during that event, release all that stuff, keep it a secret until then. But we have started to see some of that stuff roll out now, what they're calling the carryover models, which don't have any changes to them. And, and people are kind of like down on them for that, you know, because there's no changes, nothing exciting going on. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm a little bit disappointed. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If, if Harley got it right by releasing some of these things early, I mean, don't get me wrong. I know they're on a timeline and stuff like that, but I don't know. I just, I just wish it would have been kept a secret until that very moment. So like I said, I thought this was going to be a chance for them to really kind of hit this one out of the park, get this right, have everybody hyped up, super excited for this release. But now we've kind of already seen a look at some of that stuff. So Harley, I think you kind of ruined another chance to do something cool, another chance to get something right, and you kind of fall a little flat, fall a little short. But obviously, I'm still going to sign up. I'm still going to tune in on January 19th, 2021 and check out that event. So. I mean, they're still going to get my attention anyways. <laughs> but another thing that I kind of wanted to talk about is the 2021 bikes. So, I mean, we've already started to see some of this stuff released. And I want to go over to the current selection on the website where we're taking a look at some of these 2021 motorcycles and comparing them to what we think is already on the site for 2020 of last year. So starting off, taking a look at the street models, like what are we expecting for this? We kind of already know what to expect you know in 2020 we had the 750s the street rod obviously iron 83 1200 48 roadster what we know so far is obviously 750 axed gone street rod axed gone personally i think they could have should have kept the street rod um, so we're going to be left with the iron 883 iron 1200 the 48 and it looks like the roadster is also gone as well. Go ahead and check out my video comparing the Roadster to the 1200 if you haven't seen that already for some more info on the Roadster. I thought it was a cool bike. I don't think it sold very well and that's probably why I got the axe. So we're gonna be left with these three Sportsters for 2021 it's looking like. It's looking like no changes but also the price went up. We've already seen that the price has gone up by about 500 to 600 dollars on the 883 most likely the 1200 and the 48 with no changes except paint. So, I mean, I don't know. How are they going to justify selling the same exact bike, more expensive? It's going to be interesting to see how the market goes with that. You know, are they going to sell in the same quantity? I imagine they are not going to be able to sell the same amount. So, I mean, even moving into the future, the Sportster is in question, obviously. So, I know the 1250 Custom's coming out. We're going to take a look at that on the website in a second. But I don't think the 1250 Custom can replace the Sportster because... Sportster is a little bit more entry level, obviously. I mean, 1250 water-cooled, 
115, 145 horsepower, which are depending on which Revolution Max engine they put in there, I don't think too many uh, beginners are gravitating towards that. <laughs> So that's a look at what we got coming up for Sportsters. We're going to be left with those three, a lot of different paint colors. I mean, I don't think we expected much different, really, because, I mean, there's not going to be a whole lot of changes coming to the Sportster until something drastic happens later on down the road. So let's switch it over to the Cruisers, where we're going to see a lot of the Softail models. So again, we already know what's coming with this. So the virtual event, I mean, I don't know how much we're going to really gain from that. So we're keeping the standard. It looks like the street bob is gone. Looks like the regular low rider is gone, which is disappointing because those are two great bikes, two classic Harleys. I love the street bob, love the low rider. Disappointed to see those goes. Take a scroll down. Breakout is gone. I was never a big fan of that. This kind of stretched out chopper type look, you know, it only handles really good going straight. You got the big fat back tire kind of looks all right, but I was never a fan. So that's gone. We got the Slim, we've already seen that with some new paint jobs. We got the Low Rider, we've seen that in the Midnight Burgundy. Scrolling down a little bit farther, we know the Deluxe is gone, we've cut that out. We already know that we still have the Sport Glide, that's gotten some paint job uplifts. I know they did the paint matching bags on some of those options. And then we've got the Fat Bob, we know that's coming back down here. Take a look at the Fat Boy, Classic Harley. That'll be in, I believe. I haven't heard much about it, but I mean, that's an iconic classic Harley. That, that has to be maintained, I would assume. And then we have the FXDR. We all know that's gonna get cut, but I wanna take a look a little bit deeper at the FXDR for just a second because this bike got a lot of hate. I know there's a lot of people didn't like the look, didn't like the layout of this bike. I think Harley could have got this bike right had they pulled that rake in on the front a little bit pull that in a little bit closer, fix that handling a little bit, you know, get rid of this big giant rake out here. I know they were trying to make like this drag performance muscle cruiser or whatever. Get rid of this ugly exhaust right here. Make that a little bit smaller. Keep it two into one, but make it smaller. Give it mid controls. Get rid of this ugly air cleaner. Put a little bit thinner back tire on there. I think they could have made like a more of a sporty cruiser out of this bike instead of stretching it out, making it big, some some long, you know, straight line, fast machine. Pull that rake in, tighten it up, give it mid controls. I think this thing would have sold a lot better if they would have done some of those things. And I think they could have kept it in the lineup as a good seller. But just my two cents on the FXDR. So let's take it back to some of these soft tails here. So like I said, we already know what's coming up with a lot of these. Uh, you know, I mean, we're just getting different paint. <laughs> I mean, that seems to be it really. So let's take it over to the touring. This is where we have one that might be in question a little bit. So I think a lot of these are staying here. Electric Glide Standard, Heritage Classic, Road King. We've got the Road Glide, Street Glide, Road King Special. What we've seen so far, a lot of these bikes coming back, except we have not seen the specials yet. I don't think we've seen any CVOs and specials. I know I've taken a look at a couple of different videos that have already been released. We've already seen some 2021 Road Kings, some 2021 Street Glides, some 2021 Road Glides, but we haven't seen any of the 2021 specials yet. Now that could change in the coming weeks, you know, as this video is, is released or leading up to that event, we might see some of those getting released out to the dealers. That might be the one thing that's being held back and coming in for this virtual event. Something, some type of change there, whether it's a bigger motor, different frame for some of those. I can't imagine it would be a different frame anyways, but um, there could be something coming along with the specials. I think that might be where the change is. And I imagine because the CVOs have big margins on them, they're the big expensive bikes. I think those are gonna get released at the virtual event as well. Finally, scrolling back up, taking a look at the trikes. I mean, I don't know too much about the trikes. I don't know how much they sell. I don't know too much about these, but I would imagine this freewheeler is going to get cut out. I don't think that sells a whole lot. I could be wrong. Imagine the CVO Street Glide, Tri Glide, or the CVO Tri Glide, the regular Tri Glide Ultra. Imagine those could potentially stay. Um, Livewire, obviously coming back this year. So there's some rumors that that could get cut in the future, but uh, we're definitely gonna have that for 2021, I would imagine. So now let's kick it over to some of the future bikes here. We know that the Pan America is gonna get released. 
and that's going to have its own event. Another chance for Harley to kind of knock it out of the park there with the Pan America doing on its own release. So I think that's a good idea for them. Give it its own special event. Give it its own release date. All that good stuff. Get everybody excited for that one particular thing. Highlight that new item. So then we also have the future custom model coming up again. I mean, that says plan for 2021. Is that going to be late 2021? Is that going to be in, is that going to be something that's coming out in this virtual event? I mean, who knows? That could be something they have up their sleeve. Again, people are saying this is going to replace the Sportster. I don't buy it. I believe that the Sportster is going to get a revamped look with kind of a liquid cooled engine eventually, probably 2022, 2021, or I'm sorry, 2022, 2023, somewhere down the road there. We know that the Sportster is cut out in the European market, but I don't believe anything major is going to change with the Sportster at least a couple more years down the road. 1250 Custom cannot replace the Sportster. I don't believe that's an entry level bike. So anyway, we're gonna kick it back to the home screen here. I know a lot of people are upset with some of the things that they've seen or haven't seen so far with some of these bikes that they're seeing from the dealers. But I mean, did we really expect anything to change that much, honestly? Because they're coming out of the middle of shutdowns, they're coming out of the middle of pandemics. I mean, I, I don't think they had time to really market anything or change anything or plan anything with shutdowns, layoffs and production. So we've got the 21 virtual event coming up and we'll see what we have. Like I said, my prediction is there's gonna be something new going on with the specials because we haven't seen those released out to any dealers. I've seen a lot of pictures on Instagram, all that type of thing, people posting those stuff that's coming in. We haven't seen the specials in there. Now, do we see it in the next week or so before the event? Maybe, I don't know, we'll have to see. Let me know what you guys think of this virtual event. I think they kind of ruined it a little bit by getting some of these bikes out there early. Um, and let me know what you think we're gonna see in this virtual event and what we're gonna see, if anything new, for the 2021 model year. Again, I think it's hard for them to kind of really have anything major new in 2021, just due to the situation that they're coming out of in 2020. So that's gonna wrap it up for today. I think what we'll do next time is we'll do some first impressions. Once that virtual event does happen, I'll recap that. We're gonna hop back on here and take a look at anything that has changed, get some first impressions of that. So that'll wrap it up for today. Thanks for tuning in. As always, ride safe. We'll catch you all on down the road. It's the Motor John.